We begin with the latest on breaking news in Kansas City, Missouri's East Bottoms. Firefighters are watching for hot spots right now after that big industrial fire declared under control earlier this evening. KBC 9 News was first to break the story as flames engulfed hundreds of wood pallets at a warehouse near Nicholson and Monroe. It started around noon and we were watching from the air and the ground as the fire burned for hours and our coverage continues tonight. KBC 9's Jackson Kurtz is live there tonight. Jackson, you spoke with firefighters and people who, well, who saw that smoke from miles away. Yeah, we did. And just within the last hour or so, crews have done a really good job of containing this fire. Lots less hot spots, but you can still see in the distance there that one couple of spots there that crews are starting to work. They just unscrewed uh, the pump there, the water in all there. The smoke's been coming out the last hour or so, but they've really done a good job of containing those hot spots, making sure it's done for for the rest of the night. A raging inferno. Kind of reminiscent of a wildfire. And heavy smoke seen for miles. Started getting closer back to Independence area. And, I mean, it was just filling there. You could actually smell it. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was pretty bad. Firefighters constantly battling 3,000 degree flames. Seven firefighters retreated for heat exposure and three went to the hospital for minor injuries. A couple fire trucks were damaged too. For a while there, it was, uh, it was aggressively attacking us versus us attacking it. So we had to be, uh, we had to stand our ground and put up a fight. Everyone else nearby left unharmed. Some who work in the area say fires can happen here. We've had aviation fuel tanks. We've had tanker cars down here on fire. This is, you know, the East Bottoms commercial area. We, we get them, it seems like about every seven years. A city manager, Brian Platt, surveys the damage. Fire crews doing what they can to make sure the homes and businesses nearby are safe. Um, Kansas City Fire Department is one of the best ones to get it out, so they'll get it out and get it taken care of, and hopefully they can get behind the cause of the issue. You can see that aerial right there just looking over the entire scene, making sure it's contained in those hot spots and making sure it's out. We still don't know the cause of this fire. As far as the air quality, it was bad earlier, but not as much as a problem now with a lot less wind and smoke from the fire. Live in Kansas City, Jackson Kurtz, KBC 9 News. And Jackson, we want to give an exclusive look right now from News Chopper 9 of what's left of Pioneer Pallet, which isn't much. The company creates wooden pallets for storage, but now that building is a total loss. The flames spread far enough that people at a nearby business thought they may have to evacuate. The uh, flames did uh, spread far enough that uh, people at that uh, nearby tire business considered getting out. Employees at TNW Tire moved tractor tires away from a tree line to keep them from burning. Kansas City, Missouri firefighters kept the flames from spreading to that tire business. If the tree line did catch on fire, then could have gotten way worse over here than over there. You come to work every day just thinking it's going to be a normal day, and then something like this happens, and it, I mean, it just blows your mind. Employees at a couple of other nearby businesses were forced to leave for a time. No injuries to any warehouse employees. All of that smoke isn't helping our air quality. I'm here with meteorologist Neville Miller, and there's another alert tomorrow for our air.